yeah, this is the this is the original Mad Max. So Mad Max came out in 1979. Um, so it's a, so it's a bit of an older movie. So it's a little bit of a different style than what we're quite used to. Yeah. Um, obviously, we're gonna do a bit some we're gonna do some spoilers here. Um, we're gonna talk about the movie in kind of some detail. So if you haven't seen the movie and you don't care about spoilers, you can continue watching. Otherwise, uh, go watch that movie before you watch this video. So yeah. uh, general thoughts. I so I have seen Fury Road before, mm -hmm. and you, you have. I I still haven't. Uh, I still haven't seen Fury Road. I was gonna, I'm gonna shoot this video, and then the next next time we're gonna see Fury Road. So, um, although after watching this movie, I do have to say I got really curious on how we got from Mad Max to Mad Max Fury Road. I'm like, I'm like, are these <laughs> these, these are the same franchise, so, right? So that, that's exactly my point. I was like, okay, so I, I ended up having to go watch Mad Max uh, two. And uh, Mad Max uh, Beyond Thunderdome. Which I have not seen. Uh, to uh, The Road Warrior and then Beyond Thunderdome. Yeah, so. yeah. so my point is, coming from Fury Road to this first one, it's, I, I want to put them in the same universe even. So it was, it was, it was an okay movie. Uh, I've heard good things about number two and number three, which I haven't seen. Yeah. I, overall, I, I didn't like it that much. It had some cool moments. I struggled with plot holes and keeping up with it and making sense of it. Yeah, and for me, um, you know, I, like having never seen, like having watched Mad Max for the first time and having never, like only hearing the pop culture references, but never having seen either Fury Road or any of the Mad Max movies. Um, it was like, like I, I, I go and I'm, I'm like, I start up the movie, you know, I'm like, okay. And I'm like, isn't this supposed to be a post-apocalyptic? So I, I go on IMDb and I'm looking at it and I'm like, Oh, it doesn't say a post-apocalyptic movie. So it, it it says like in the near future or something like that. And I was like, what? I thought I thought this was. I was like I was like I, I, uh, I think I think I ended up looking up because I, I think the next thing I did was how does Mad Max relate to Mad Max Fury Road? <laughs> Couldn't find anything definitive. Um, and then I and then I looked at the p plot synopsis. I was I was like, do the other Mad Max movies? And the other two are post-apocalyptic. Yeah. Yeah. Which I was, I was like, okay. So it's just this first movie. Um, and I believe it wasn't intended originally to be a post-apocalyptic. Yeah. I, no, I can see that. None of this was supposed to be post-apocalyptic. You could just see it was supposed to be like, I think the theme of the whole first movie is just crazy. Yeah. Anything crazy, anything mad, whatever they can do to kind of be weird about it. Because, yeah, so to your point, my brother popped in when I was watching through it. And he's like, so what are you watching? I'm like, oh, this is first Mad Max. He said, why is there green? <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that was my thought. I was like, I was like, what? Also, um, one thing I, I I've seen some memes about like uh, the the Americans they drive on the right side of the road. The Euro yeah. uh, the so, the Europeans drive on the left side. The Aussies they drive straight down the middle. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking about that story. This one, I'm like, they're driving straight down the middle of the road. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. Jeez. They just they just don't care. Um, but like, yeah, th yeah this movie was. Um, I was, I was like, I was like, what on earth is this? Because it yeah. was, it's like, this is not, this is less Mad Max, more like Ozzy, yeah. Fast and Furious, you know? It was, it was all over the place. Not to be, to, to give it a little credit, it like killed it financially. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know. It was, it must have been huge. It must have been like the first thing to do something like that. It's, it's odd because um, I've heard that it's supposed to be like, like, uh, like it became, like Mad Max became like this mythical character and whatnot. Yeah. I don't understand it. This this might just be from this movie from our yeah. from our twenty first century perspective or something like that. But um, and one thing one thing is weird. So on some of these some of these movies from like the seven like seventies eighties or something like that. Um, a lot some of these movies, it feels like they are a bit more sterile in their emotion emotional yeah. content. Sometimes um, and it's it's a problem I've had with some of the some other movies I've seen from this area era, which it, it feels like. Either there's no energy in the performer performance, yeah. yeah, or like just something is off. Because like it's so it's either nothing or so over the top. Well, it's it's weird because you you can definitely tell the difference in like filmmaking between this movie, like let's just say this movie and Fury Road, right? Oh, yeah. Again, I haven't seen Fury Road. I'm assuming because it was made in 2015. Yeah. So like ju just just knowing that, I know there's a big difference. In like what these, like the styles of modern movies and the style of something the something from the seventies and eighties, 
like there is a stark difference. It, it's it's hard to really quantify that difference, but I think it's um, it, it almost feels sterile. Like there's no emotion behind it. No. And a lot of times you'll see people doing things and you don't understand why. Yeah. Actually, Taxi Driver was. This is one of the oh. reasons I did not like Taxi Driver, yeah. is because I couldn't understand the the thought process of the character. Yeah. Yeah. And um, and this is this is a similar thing. Um, granted, I think I think it's it seems like like a lot, I think the thought processes are are yeah pretty understandable with uh, some with some of the things that happen yeah. in this movie. Yeah. But um, like for Max posing to be all all that, the only scene you really get that gets you close is like the start with the night rider. I'm the night rider, baby. Yeah, yeah. Night yeah, rider yeah. like going crazy on the radio and then as soon as Max pulls up behind him he starts crying and then dies ten seconds later. Yeah. Like that's literally all you get for like Max is well known. And and that's um I th- I think I don't know if he really is well known. I don't know. Yeah, maybe um, that, not. That, that, that was the one time that was like the f- the first part where I was like I was like, Yeah, that is that right there is like okay, he's 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 like you you can see he's like really cool. Yeah. Really cool, yeah. like really uh, like really good at, at doing what he. And then that's also where I thought I was like, this kind of feels like an Aussie Fast and Furious, though. That's that's where I was thinking that because I'm like, okay, um, but like you, you don't have any of the wild crazy cars, uh, no. or like you have some of the wild crazy characters, but they're all just like it's just yeah. like a biker gang. Some of the stunts were looked good, at least they were yeah. kind of cool with like yeah. the, what they did with rolls or crashes and stuff was good. Yeah, I've, I've, I, I heard it was a miracle because a lot of those guys were not professional stunt drivers. But a miracle um, didn't kill anybody then. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what I've heard. It's, been like, it's a miracle nobody died. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. Um, but yeah, there was it was it, it, it's supposed to take place. Um, so it's in, it's in Australia. Um, it's supposed to take place in the near future. I think I think it starts off in like a few years from now. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's that's what the I don't you get. remember where I saw it, but I, I know it's I know it takes place in Australia. Yeah. Which would explain I was trying to figure out why they were driving on the wrong side of the cars the whole or, time. Or the, or the fact that they um, they got on on the left side instead yeah, of the right, right side. Right, that must be Australia. Yeah. Um it must be. So, yeah, it was uh yeah. No. I like they do some stuff well, they do the stunts well, they do the the fast cars well. They made the uh, the biker gang leader interesting. Yeah, they, but it was it just felt more like instead of we're gonna have like a story or a plot, it's just how weird can we get? Yeah, like let's have two guys dancing in the street quick, and then let's have this is just weird on weird on and top of weird. I think I think I understood that in um, they're they're kind of showing. I, I guess you kind of have this plot of of uh, like like these biker gangs that this, this biker gang that's just. Terror. It just seems like a yeah. biker gang that's just terrorizing people, and then um, it finally affects Max, and then he goes after them and kills them all, um, kind of thing. Uh, although it didn't, it doesn't really make sense why they kept terrorizing his wife so, specifically. So if you think about this is what this is what got me a little little gripe. Okay, yeah. so like you're going through, and they do, they do the, they tear the one car up, and Johnny Boy, is that his name? The one guy stays behind. Right? Okay. So he stays behind because they're trying to figure out who killed the Knight Rider. Because apparently Knight Rider must have been big to them. They're trying to get the cop who got them. Mm -hmm. So somehow he goes back and figures out, I think it's Goose? Yeah. Okay, Goose. Somehow he gets Goose, but he doesn't get Mel Gibson's character, Max. So he doesn't get Max, but he, he, he recognizes, he figures out Goose is in on it. And then because there's a court, they gotta let him go. Yeah. So that all works good. Somehow though, they, they get Goose. Apparently, he was supposed to go on trial, and then no one showed up. Um, no one showed up to the trial. Which pro like, like it's, it's weird because you don't think that those biker gangs have that much influence. All that all that works. But at this point, you're thinking, okay, Max and Goose are in trouble because Although they went after at, the at night At this rider. point, it's Mad Goose Fury Road. <laughs> Sorry, oh. not, not Fury, but like Mad Goose. <laughs> exactly. It's, at this point, it's Mad Goose because Goose is furious because um, yeah, because they, well, they let him go. They have this. Uh, the, this this guy who stayed behind, uh, he raped this girl. Johnny Boy. Yep. Um, so, and then so Johnny Boy, he he raped this girl, and so Goose is furious. Like he, he wants justice for the um, yep. this guy to be brought to justice, and then he gets away with it. Because um, no so, one will come forward, so the guy leaves. 
So that then Goose goes after him, whatever. His motorcycle crashes. He gets burned. Yeah, and then he gets burned, and, and then he probably should have just died. So all that yeah. makes and then sense. Max quits the force. Yep, it's because all because he doesn't. He doesn't want to get. He doesn't want that same fate. And then they go on vacation. And then this the bikers apart. run into the woman and or, uh, Max's wife. And for some reason, they they're like really hell bent on raping her. This is um, this like, where it falls apart for me. That that because it's it's like I don't I don't know why there's like they, they like spend so much effort. So it goes from there's, her down there's obviously people there. They're just on the beach, and she goes and gets ice cream. Mm-hmm. They want to rape her. She has the great idea with like ten guys around her to stick the ice cream in the main guy's face and drive off. Yeah, and they they should have left. They should have just left it alone. So when they leave, when you leave that scene, the mechanic says they were maybe going to go north. Yeah, and it's clear our guy, the, the biker gang, has no idea really where they're going to be. How do they find him? Max? I don't know. So Max just shows up, like goes to. A, it they're, looks they're, like somebody's like house. A, yeah, they're, they're staying that at they're a, probably related like a farm or something. or something like that. Somehow the bikers find him. Yeah. Um, and then, so she's down on the beach by herself. And I, I, I commented to whoever I was watching the movie, I was like, that is one worthless mutt I said about the dog. Because <laughs> everybody's thinking the dog just runs away. Yeah. Somehow she gets all the way back to the house without anyone getting her. And then there's whatever goes on. And so she, she gets in the car that was broke earlier and she's going to leave with the grandma and the kid. Doesn't think anything about Max. Just takes off. Yeah. Leaves Max behind. And then... The biker gang gigs out, and they're going to go chase her down. So when their car breaks down, what is her great idea? Her and the kid are going to run down the middle of the road. <laughs> run down the middle of the road. So, of course, when the biker gang comes, they're, they're just, like a half mile. They can see specks out in the road. Yeah, oh, there they, they can, are. They can, yeah, it's, that's, that, yeah. So the, the, the plot Easy between, target. like, how did they find them at the house, and then she's going to run down the road, and then you just have, like, a scene. Supposedly, they both die from a motorcycle running them over, but you don't see it because, of course, if you run someone over a motorcycle, you're going to crash. Yeah. That little it's, part bugged me a little bit because I'm like, this this doesn't add that, up. It it just it just doesn't make a ton of sense. It was a way that um, they could have Max then reject the police force, come back. Yeah, and then go um, after and then, them. And then and then he and then he goes after them, and um, I kind of wish there was a little bit more of like a transformation there with like, um, but like he, yeah, he goes and exacts his revenge on the on the guys, and um, yeah, the, the the scene where uh, he he locks. This one guy, his foot up, up on the... It's on Johnny the, Boy again. Or, um, oh, is it Johnny Boy? It's, okay. Yep, so it's he, Johnny he, Boy. He, he locks Johnny Boy up to a car, like the gasoline is spilling, and then he um, sets fire to it. And then he gives him the, the, a saw, and it's like, it's like you can, it takes, it'll take you 10 minutes to saw through the chains or five minutes to saw through your foot. Your choice. And uh, apparently, the directors of Saw got their idea from Mad Max because of that scene. I actually, when, when, I, when, I was, when, I, when I saw that scene, I was thinking You're about like... like that's kind of like saw. <laughs> There's a saw. It's like saw. Yeah, because um, because that that's that's a in the first saw movie. It's called saw because you have two guys who are chained up and they have to saw through their foot to get out. Um, that's that's the only that was the only way for them to get out is to saw through their foot um, or saw through their leg, I should say. Um, so, but yeah, yeah, I mean, in I don't really get why people consider him to be like this big mythical character because. Yeah. To me, Matt, Max doesn't even do anything like, like a lot. Like we have, granted, we have a ton of superhero and action yeah, witches, content nowadays. Yeah, so that's hard. We to have we have stuff it. like John Wick, which is like incredibly well done. And like, like when when you watch John Wick, you are not asking yourself, why do they call him the Baba Yaga? Why no. is he like? Why is he like this? Uh, for like, because you understand, exa- like he is just running through people. Yep. So much, like, like you understand it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, but you get some scenes to back it up too. Yeah. You, in you this get the movie, scenes. he doesn't. He, 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 he just, just takes he just out the Night Rider until like the final ten minutes of the movie. Yeah, and that's one he, guy. Yeah, it's, there's not really much going on here. Um, like, there's other movies, other action movies where you you understand what is going on, or like why he would be a mythical character. And apparently, like inter- internationally, like people were um, like like Japanese people were comparing him to like a um, uh, to like a samurai or right. um, you know just just what, whatever whatever was in their culture. I, I personally I don't, I don't get it. No, like no, obviously, I, like they 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 see something that I don't, and maybe it's because again we're here in the you know yeah. in the twenty first century looking back at this like uh, what forty five year old movie. Okay. And yeah. I don't know. Yeah, when you put it that way. Yeah, I'm in the same boat though. It was, I love Fury Road, 
And from what you said, you like number two and number three somewhat. Yeah. Um, so I might so, watch those if I get the time. But this one just didn't, didn't. It was okay. It was fine. I just don't have anything real special about it. If anything, yeah. Goose should have been the, the crazy mm -hmm. one, the mad character, because yeah. that's how he acted. Mad Goose <laughs> should have been called. Um, yeah, and, and a big problem I think they had with this one is that there was no... They didn't really kind of flesh out the, the world at all. Um, so basically, what, ends, what ended up happening was, uh, I believe um, they were not wanting this to be, uh, what was the name of the director again? George Miller. George Miller. Okay, so George Miller, he, he wrote this not to be as a post-apocalyptic movie. Um, but then after this movie came out and it was a big hit, he was like, okay, so, so then he went back and he wrote like a whole story like, yeah. of how it happened. And what they don't tell you is that um, there were like a couple of countries fighting over the oils. The oil fields got burned, um, right. and that basically threw the whole whole population into chaos. Yeah. Because um, now now you got to fight over gas, um, and then apparently I, th I think they only mention um, nuclear wasteland in the third movie. Um, yeah. it, it, it primarily comes out with um, like Max's. He, he's going into this town. This guy is trying to sell him some clean water. He takes out a Geiger counter, like puts it puts it near the water, and it's like you, know, you get the ticking noise from a Geiger counter, right? Yeah. And it's like and he's like this guy. This stuff is irradiated. He's like, what? What's a little bit of fallout? What's a little fallout, huh? You know. <laughs> so that, 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 that's kind of how they they tell you like, hey, this is a it's a nuclear wasteland now. Yeah. Um, yeah. But in Mad Max, I believe some people have said that Mad Max Two takes place like 15 years afterwards after so, the first movie. So that, then he's time still, he's still got a knee brace from when he got. Oh, his he knee does! Shot, wow. Um, in the second movie, not the third movie. Um, so he he's, he has a knee brace from that, um, and mm. in the second movie, like that's when you get the crazy people. You you've got like this the guy with like like with a harness and the like shirtless and he's got a mask. You start the masks um, and, and he, stuff. Yeah, and you, you've, you've got all, you've got the crazy people, the crazy weird people, um, in like this uh, car gang, um, right? With with the kind of the wacky cars, and you got the weird wacky characters in the second movie. Um, and bas basically, there's there's a there's an oil refinery that you have some people who are uh, protecting, and then you've got this gang who wants to take it over. Yeah. And that's pretty much the the whole of that one. And then and then also um, you've got this guy on a uh, gyrocopter, I think. So, like, like Max comes upon that he's he's gonna he wants to take the gas from it because um, they 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 tell you in that movie, hey, gas is a value, very valuable resource. Yeah. They tell you the backstory, and they even show like kind of glimpses of the first movie to kind of tell you like who Max was. So we get post post. So you can literally skip the entire first movie, and you kind of get the the gist yeah. of. Like of it in the second movie, and it kind of it kind of goes back and re and explains what was going on there. That's good then. Um, I'm gonna have to try those then. Yeah, so I, I got I just got really curious after I watched Mad Max and I was like, "There's no I way." I do not understand why. Look, like, like how do you get from this movie that's not post apocalyptic to Mad Max Fury Road, which is po like super. Yeah, super and, and I I don't know I didn't know what the other two movies were, so I looked it up and uh, I ended up watching those two because I was I was just really curious. And yeah. those are those are better because you you get the the Thunderdome in the third one, That's... you get um, a lot of the crazies in the second one and third one. Um, in the third one, you really I think that's when you really feel the um, mystical like the that's where you the get mythical it. hero. You you get that a lot more in the third yeah. one. Like the third one, I was like, there it okay, is. Okay, there we go. Now now I now I get it. Right nice. now I get he's a mythical hero because like I think he. Uh, like uh, like he, he's he's trying to get his stuff back. He goes to a, to a place called Barter Town. He's like he's trying to get his stuff back, and they're like like hey, do you have anything to trade? He's like I've got skills, and then and then they they try to do this like recruitment thing, and then he's the only one who's ever passed it. And I'm like, there we go. Now we're now you're getting it. Now you're getting it. Now you're now you're sh now you're showing how he's this myth mythical character. Right. They, they 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 start that a little bit in the second one. Okay. Yeah, they have none and of it they, in the first one. And, and they do it a lot more in the third one. I think those two are a lot better than the first one. First one you can completely skip. Yeah, yeah um, I would say that too. I've even heard that people that when people think of the first Mad Max, they think of the second one. So that was that was my dad. Yeah, yeah. I went home and said, I just saw the first Mad Max. He said, oh, didn't you love it? And I described it to him. I don't think he ever saw it. <laughs> he, didn't he didn't recognize any of the scenes. He was like, Mad Max. Well, no, uh, it's the one where they're, they're fighting over the oil, right? Yeah, that's the second one. And I yeah. said, no, that's not this one. <laughs> 
So he was like, well, pff, I don't when you even look, know. When you look up Mad Max, and it's apparently it's, uh, Mad Max the Road Warrior yeah. is what they're look they're seeing. Um, that's I'll have to try it. Yeah, it's, so it's that's that's the way that's how that, that yeah. But this one this one could be this one could be skipped. This this one is gonna be completely skipped. It's not that great. I think it's even rated at a six on IMDb, which uh, is great because it's on our top one hundred movies. Chart, I and know most of the movies are like at an eight or higher, um, at and, least. And most of them, most of the movies we've seen, if I sit back and think about it and be like, even if I didn't like it so much, I can see this, this, and this. It could be on the this one. Yeah. I would rather Fury Road is on there. But. Yeah. So ne- speaking of Fury Road, that is next week. We're gonna watch Fury Road, yep. and then we're gonna talk about that next week. Um, and then the week after that, uh, Furiosa comes yep. out. So we'll uh, we'll have a review. Hopefully, on that. We get together on that. Uh, maybe have a spoiler free discussion at first, and then maybe go into spoilers yeah. if we uh, do discuss yeah, on that. We'll if we do, that'll be a first. We'll, be see, we'll see. We'll see how we do that. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> um, but if you guys like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you guys want to see more of these, then go ahead and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. We'll see you. Ciao.